I don't know what's in uh, Rich Lowry's heart, but I can guess. <laughs> and I don't know what Rich Lowry says uh, behind uh, closed doors. But now I, I can a, guess. I have a sense now. And, you know, listen, everybody slips up every now and then on, uh, uh, on news hits. Like, it's just this is a funny slip up. Like when you refer to Liz Cheney as Lynn Cheney. Yeah. You know. Of course. It's, it's something that actually happens when I'm off camera, too. Totally. And sometimes you bring that. And your lack of respect for the subject matter kind of contributes to the That's error. true, too. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's watch this. People can decide for their own. But the, the point is, I'm trying to contrast this with what J.D. Vance did. I actually think J.D. Vance's was uh, more um, with more racist intent. I think this was just a flub by Rich Lowry. That may have been a little bit revealing. I mean, he is a racist guy, but I don't know about this yet. But Bob, finally, he, he said something to the effect of, look, if, if we have to create stories in order to bring attention to what's happening, the media, he admits they made it up, right? As opposed to, and if you right. listen to the full yeah. clip, he says, by drawing attention to what's happening on the ground, it's just, right. as this like line goes online, with, you don't hate remember, the media enough. Go ahead. You remember Alternative Facts with Kellyanne? They, they did the same thing. She wasn't saying you, you make up fictions and pretend they're facts. You, you bring other facts to bear in the debate that are being ignored. And that's what he was saying. And I loved, I think it was in, in that interview where Dana Bash says, you know, the police have gone through 11 months of recordings of calls, and they've only found two Springfield residents calling to complain about Haitian migr uh, migrants taking geese from ponds. Only two calls. And whoopsie! Okay, one lesson in this whole story, people don't care about geese. Uh, people really hate geese. You know, they, they, all things considered, yeah. I think people would prefer Haitian <laughs> migrants to come and take the geese off the golf course, right? So it's, it's pets, yeah. it's uh, the cats and dogs has become the, 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 the standard. Ge geese clearly don't, don't matter. I mean, they. they I, I oh, read moving on. Protect uh, everybody was a little bit uncomfortable after that moment. Okay. That's weird. I mean, who amongst us hasn't uh, mispronounced an M for an N, and uh, changed the intonation of the I and added an R at the end when before the G? That happens all the time. So he's basically saying he was trying to say migrants, but again, that would he would have have been trying to say like the migrants in an entirely different way than you would pronounce migrants migrants <laughs> right? um, well i didn't mean to be well, like well but <laughs> the weird part too though is that the r has a very very different function in uh, the word migrant than it does in the word that he seemed to accidentally say but let's take him at his word um this is uh, uh somebody uh, pointed it out on you on uh on uh on twitter and Andy McCarthy, also from the National Review, is he still there? This guy's horrible. <laughs> Ridiculous. Rich Lowry, not tagged here, Natch. I don't get it. He literally is tagged there. Um, in what he's quote tweeting. He's quote tweeting. Oh, oh, I see. Obviously got crossed uh, up between immigrants, short eye, and migrants, long eye. Nope. Immigrants and migrants, migrant. That is also not what it sounds like. But okay. Uh, started mispronouncing migrants with a short I and an N and instantly corrected himself with no embarrassment because it was a patently a mispronunciation. And then he, then Rich Lowry comes in, yes, this is exactly what happened. I began to uh, mispronounce the word migrants and caught myself halfway through. I mean, I think it's true. He weirdly pronounced it with an N and an I in a different way and a G and then forgot the word ants. I, I, yeah. I mean, what can we say? I mean, I think it's plausible that he misspoke in a way that sounds... Uh, uh, Have you seen the ones where it's slowed down? I haven't, no, but uh, I mean, the thing is, like, so here's the thing. I don't know what he was intending to say there. I do know what's in his heart. Like, Rich Lowry is a racist guy. Oh, yeah. Without like, a doubt. You, the National Review does not pl um, allow you to go see their archives of things they were saying, say, when uh, Martin Luther King was alive. Like, w the, the jury's in. Like, this, I think the problem I have with emphasizing this as opposed to, say, that history is because I think this is debatable and gets you into that low information uh, problem of, like, making things look petty and being like, well, everything's a minefield. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, look, I, I, I want to be clear here. 
my point in showing the uh, Lowry thing is, um, you know, we don't know what's in his heart. We can look at his writing and, and make uh, broad uh, assumptions over time. And um, it, it's, it, I, I wouldn't be shocked if someone says, oh, yeah, he regularly uses that word at the office. Nor me, yeah. Uh, but what I think is more sort of race baiting than that he it was clearly if it was if that's what he said he clearly said it by accident he's just used to saying it maybe off camera and uh you know went to town but jd vance when he's on there he knows exactly what he's doing when he says uh curry or fried chicken yeah he is trying to goad the Harris campaign into engaging him on that so that he can turn around saying they make everything about race. And it's smart that they're not taking the bait. They, and we said this three weeks before Biden dropped out or two weeks that if Harris became the nominee, the Republicans would have such a problem because the only thing they know how to do, the only thing they know how to do with a person of color it's like they they it's like a, well, it's like fly it's like moths to the light they it, can't it, it, can't it was just it's so hard to watch him like try to justify it because at the end of the day it feels true right to a degree and he did say it and part of it is i i think maybe i'm just ignorant to like there's a whole percentage of this country that says that word all the time behind the scenes and they like get off on the fact that they can't say it in public almost and they can say it in certain circles. Um, and he was feeling, I think, a little bit too comfortable with Megyn Kelly in their highfalutin media critique. Um, I mean, that is uh, that's what slipped out. I'm sorry. I thought we were just around the office. Everything got so comfortable. He's the kind of guy that hears like that song being used in a song on the radio or whatever or on Spotify and then says it full throatedly because he gets to at that time period in that period. Right. There's like a good amount of white Americans who have this kind of like it's not who are so racist and they and they enjoy the fact that they can ha be among people at on certain at certain occasions and say that thing privately hi folks hey you've heard me criticize how the mainstream media across the political spectrum either fails to report on important stories or prioritizes their own bias over balanced and comprehensive news coverage well that's why i use ground news as a solution on a daily basis Longtime sponsors gather related news and add important context so you can understand how each outlet reports on it and maybe sometimes skews the facts. This and being so close to the presidential election, you're going to see rhetoric against uh, Harris and Tim Walls is only going to intensify. So I can't recommend enough that you check out Ground News's election page. My vantage plan gets me access to their election focused blind spot feed and diverse perspectives on each candidate so I can find the truth on who they really are, not just hear the loudest, most biased opinions. And areas where, frankly, the left or the right is not covering. For each story you read on their platform, you're going to find article Ground News found reporting on it, as well as tags to the next source indicating if they're independently owned or not, how credible their reporting is, and if they have any political bias one way or another making it really easy to critically analyze different perspectives and come to your own conclusions. Their mission aligns so much with what we try to do on this show. We try and make you more media literate. So I can't recommend enough going to ground.news slash majority or scanning my QR code to subscribe. Ground News is independent and subscriber supported. My viewers, however, will save 40% on the same vantage plan that I use for unlimited access to all their features on a daily basis. Hey folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 p.m. Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out.